Song sections in GarageBand iOS are probably one of the most underrated features. So in this video, I'm gonna show you everything you need to know about using song sections in GarageBand. Let's go. If you're looking for something specific, check out the timestamps down in the description. And while you're there, check out all of my other GarageBand iOS tutorials. But in this one, we're looking at song sections. Let's just jump in here to a new track, fire up the audio recorder and tap on the tracks view button. Now by default, GarageBand gives you one section with eight bars. How do we change that? How do we use song sections? Let's dive in and take a look. To access your song sections, you need to tap on the plus button in the top right corner and your song sections will be displayed. To adjust the song section that we have here by default, simply tap on the arrow here and that will open up this first section. You've got two options here, automatic and manual. Automatic means that it will record. As long as you record, say you're just recording in a piano or a guitar part, it'll match up however many bars you record into. With this on manual, we can tap up and down here to change the number of bars. Say you wanted 16 bars in this first section, you set it to 16 bars there. You can also tap and drag if you want a big chunk of bars. And what a lot of folks do, including myself, when you're writing a demo or creating a song, is just throw, say, 150 bars there, tap out of there, and you'll have one big long section. But there's so much more that song sections can do if you've got a little bit of customization you want to do. So let's show you that now. To demonstrate song sections, I've created a little eight bar ditty here, a little jazz number. And I'm gonna tap on the plus button here in the top right corner to come into my song sections. Now we've got a couple of options here to add a new blank song section. We tap on the add button here and you can see there it's brought across our drummer, but everything else is completely blank. And that's just because your drums are usually like your metronome. If you wanna add another one, hit the add button again there. Now you'll notice that it's highlighting these. So every time you tap on one of these sections, Sections is going to show that section. To go back and view all sections, which is probably what you want, tap on the all sections button at the top here. Now when we tap out, there we go. You can see here, we've got section A, we've got section B, we've got section C, and we can start adding in additional instruments to those different sections. However, you may want to use the other feature, which is the duplicate feature. So let's show you that one now. We'll hit the plus button again to go to song sections. First of all, we want to delete these out. Now to delete, all we need to do is tap on the edit button and then hit these little delete keys and hit delete. And each of these sections are going to be removed. Now let's hit this duplicate button. And what you'll see there is it's actually duplicated out all of the instruments and created another section. If we tap off here, it's going to be here in just that one section. So again, we'll tap in the top right and we'll go to all sections. So now we've got access to A and to B. And the cool thing about this is it means if you're building up a song, so we've got these three tracks here. Say we now wanted to add in another instrument here. I want to add in something, uh, something cool. We'll add some strings in here. We can tap on that, come in here to our strings and play along there. In fact, let's just turn the autoplay on here and see if we can get something cool playing along with our other instruments. Yeah, kind of works there, doesn't it? So it means that you can then build up and then as we go on, if you hit your plus button again here, we can grab section B that we've now added these strings to and hit the duplicate button there and check it out. It's gonna duplicate out those strings. So it just makes it really easy and convenient to build out a song using song sections. So song sections can be used to separate out your stuff, but they can also be used to help you change your arrangement around. Now, as all the good cooks say, here's one I prepared earlier. I've got two sections here, A and B. And what I wanna do is swap these around. So to do that, I can actually do it by tapping here on the plus button. And remember that edit mode we went to before when we tapped here? Not only can you delete, but see the three lines over here, we can also reorder. So if we grab section B and drag it up, look what happens. Yeah, put section B at the front and section A here. Now, if you've got intro, verse, chorus, and a whole bunch of other things, you can see how you can really quickly change around your arrangement and it will automatically kind of split and chop and cut your different instruments and your different tracks there to do that. So if we hit done here now and tap on all sections, we can view this track and uh, it's going to be a little bit weird and wacky because it's now going to go from section A here to section B. So it's actually going back to the start, but it's a cool way to do your arrangement. Let's turn that back, tap again, 
hit the edit button and drag A back above B here. Now, what if you haven't added sections, but you do want to use sections? Well, you can kind of add them in after the fact. Let's show you how to do that now. So in this track, you'll notice I've got this two bar intro that's actually part of section A. But what if I want that to be its own little intro section? Well, we can do that. And to do that, we need to hit the plus button here and add in a new section. This time we do want to just hit the add button to add a blank section. Now, I'm going to show you how we can change the number of bars. If we hit that little I button there, we can now edit this. So we can drag this down or tap down to go to two bars and hit the back button there. We've now got section C here at the end with just two bars, but we want it at the front of our track. So how do we do that? Again, edit and drag section C and drop it in front of section A. This is a great technique. If, say, you've started right on bar one and you haven't given yourself any lead in time, you can quickly and easily add a section, throw it at the front, and now when we hit done and go into all sections, you can see that we've got a little space here. Now what do we need to do? Well, we need to actually move this audio across so it goes into that section. Let's show you that. So the first thing we want to do is just remove this drum because this has just been added where we added that section. So tap, tap, delete, delete. What we now need to do is, in this case, we do actually need to split out any audio that hasn't been split. So these have all actually been done. This one hasn't. So we just need to tap and split that, especially if your MIDI tracks, you just need to make sure it's split. That's all we need to do then. And we're good to go. Oh, we'll split this one out as well because that one won't be used. It's muted anyway. So we won't even really need that. Now what we can do is just tap and drag around these and drag them across into that first section which is done and everything's good to go. We can now move anything else we have over to uh, line it up as well. So to do that, we'll again tap and drag all of these ones and bring these over to line up right there. So there's that little bit of drum there in the first section and then it kicks into here. Now, what about these two bars at the end? Well, no problem. Song section's got us covered there. We just hit the plus button here, go into this one that was 10 bars and we turn it into eight bars. And look at that, like magic, we've now got our section set up with our intro and then our first and second sections here ready to go. And now that we're set up this way, if we hit the plus button and we want to change these again, remember we hit the edit mode there and we drag them. So we drag section A down to section B and you can see how quickly you can change around your arrangement. Let's see what it'll sound like with this intro going right into the second section instead of the first. Kind of different, yeah. Maybe it doesn't work with this song, but it's okay. You can undo that if you want to and go back there. So that is your song sections. You can add them, you can change them, you can delete them. This is a feature that not even Logic Pro for iPad has. I find it super handy, especially when you're writing a song, working out the arrangement. Does that bridge go there or does it go after the chorus? You can play around with it and find out. I hope you found this useful. If you want to learn more about playing around with GarageBand iOS and creating your best music, check out the links down in the description and I'll see you next time.